Welcome to this video of Marketing Platter. The aim of Marketing Platter is to explain marketing concepts in easy to understand language and using relevant examples. This video explains how to forecast sales using sales funnel estimates. This video is useful for management students as well as professionals who want to manage their sales efforts and improve their sales forecasting with sales funnel. If you want, you may subscribe this channel for more videos explaining important marketing concepts in easy to understand language. Let us see what we will discuss here. We will first review the sales funnel in brief. This basic understanding will help us in learning how to forecast sales using estimates of sales funnel. This video will also help you to know about how companies use sales funnel in improving their sales effort. Sales funnel for both personal selling and corporate sales includes three stages of interest creation, pre-purchase and purchase. These are divided into five steps that we have discussed in the last video on sales funnel with different examples. You can refer to that video for detailed understanding. Since our focus here is sales forecasting, we will review the sales funnel in brief here and move to sales forecasting example. Also, we focus on estimates of each step here, since these estimates will help us in sales forecasting. Five estimates of different steps of sales funnel include cold calls, warm leads, prospects, proposals, and purchase. As you can see, the value of estimates reduce at every step. Due to this reduction in value of the estimate, the sales process is also called as sales funnel. With this understanding, let's move on to discuss how to forecast sales using these five estimates. This example shows estimates of each sales step for two salespersons, Sam and Rita, towards the end of April 2020. As you can see, Sam has 56 cold calls, 30 warm leads, 19 prospects, 5 proposals, and 8 closed deals at the time. Similar figures for Rita are also included. Mira is the manager of Sam and Rita. Mira wants to forecast sales for the period of April to August 2020. For this, she uses some past conversion rates. Past data shows that 2% of cold calls become closed deals in 4 months. 14% of warm leads become closed deals in 3 months. 25% of prospects become closed deals in 2 months. And 36% of proposals become closed deals in 1 month. She uses this information about sales estimates for forecasting sales. Sales forecast can be done by multiplying conversion rate with the value of the estimate at each step and then adding all these to the already closed deals. We'll just see how we can use this for forecasting sales for Sam. This means that for Sam, we have to multiply the cold call conversion rate of 2% with total number of cold calls, which was 56. Multiply the warm leads conversion rate of 14% with total number of warm leads which was 30 and then multiply the prospects conversion rate of 25% with total number of prospects which was 19. Similarly, to multiply the proposals conversion rate of 36% with total number of proposals which was 5 and add all of these to the already closed deals of April which were 8. When we add all these, we get the sales forecast for Sam. Similarly, we can find the sales forecast for Rita. Sales forecast for their manager is the sum of sales forecasts for both of them. At the end, we round off the final figure as total sales has to be an integer. Note that this rounding off is done at the end only to improve the sales forecasting. Let us now see what we have learned in this video. We have reviewed the steps of sales funnel and estimates of each step of sales process. These estimates are the number of cold calls, number of warm leads, number of prospects, number of proposals, and the final purchases. These estimates are used for forecasting the sales. Sales forecasting for a salesperson is done by multiplying the conversion rate with value of the estimate at each step and then adding all these products. The manager's sales forecast is arrived by adding sales forecast of all the salespersons and then rounding off at the end. Hope this video 
increased your understanding about the sales forecast with sales funnel you may like and share this video subscribe the channel of marketing platter to understand more marketing concepts in a simple way you are invited to give your suggestions for making new videos for explaining marketing concepts in an easy to understand language and using relevant examples please do give your comments for this video tutorial thank you for watching this video have a good day